How's it going to YouTube? Solange right here. And today, we're going to be taking a look at a launcher called Launcher 8. So here's Launcher 8 in the Play Store. And it is free. And it supports Android 2.0 and higher. So this is Launcher 8. It's pretty smooth, and, it, and by far, it's probably the smoothest launcher I've ever tried. Um, it mimics it very well. And uh, I highly recommend using this. I've been using this for quite a bit now. And uh, the only problem it has is that sometimes the uh, messaging app will uh, crash on you. But other than that, it works flawlessly. Now, when you install Launcher 8 from the App Store, it does not come like this. I customize it this way. But if you can see, you can change the icon, the icon picture, the background, the image that goes inside the picture, uh, the size, you can have this 1x1, one one, or the 2x2, two two, or the 2x1, uh, or uh, anything like that. Now this launcher does support widgets, you can see right here. You can pretty much size it up to however, whatever size you want. So let me go show you, demonstrate right now. So you can have this small size, the, uh, the large size, or that 2x2. Two two. So I'm going to show you the level of customization and theming options you can have on uh, Launcher 8. So what you want to do is go ahead and click your menu and then go to add. So once you click on add you're going to get this little box right here that says add widgets, apps, shortcuts and other stuff uh, including folders. So what we want to do is put add apps. So we're going to go ahead and click add apps. And it's going to bring us to this menu that has all my, my installed apps on my phone. So now let's just say we want to add one of these apps tiles on the home screen. So all we got to do is click on one. Uh, I'm going to click calculator. And it's going to bring it down in this uh, the most bottom of my home screen. Now to edit this, all we have to do is long press on it. And as you can see, all the other tiles starts moving. And to add another tile, all you got to do is just click on it as such. But we want to edit the calculator. So now we're given some options here. We, we have the option, if you click on the pencil, we have the option to edit it. The option to remove it with that thumbtack. And the option to resize it with this arrow. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the edit button. And it's going to give us this new page. From here, we can select the icon, the name, the position, the size, what application it launches, and the background. So now if you want to change the background and the image of the tile, all we got to do is go ahead and click on this. And what it gives us here is default icons that come with Launcher 8. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this calculator right here. And there you go, it changes it for me. We can set the tile size here. And here we're given a lot more options than we did on the home page. Now we're going to change the background tile color. And as you can see here, there's a lot to choose from. Next we're going to check out Alpha. And here you pretty much get to change the transparency. Now here's that icon we just made. It has a pink background. It's very transparent. And uh, the icon is big. I changed the background icon to white so you can see that transparency a little bit better. So we're going to hop in into the preferences of the app. All you have to do is click menu and then hit settings up here. And here we're given the system settings. We can change the default tile color, the, the transparency, the background color, and also if you want wallpaper. Next we have lock screen. We have the option of turning it on and off. Showing the status bar, the wallpaper, the font color, 
Next, if you slide over again, we have app list. And to get to all your apps, all you have to do is slide to your left. One thing I really like about Launcher 8 is that when you open apps, it gives this cool, really nice animation. So let me go ahead and, and open this calculator right here. You can see it, gives, it gave a nice wave. So that's pretty much it, guys, for this review for Launcher 8. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down in the comment section below, and also subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.